Hi, hello. As I promised, uh, today we'll check all these uh, elements here, what I've showed you in the previous one video. And uh, on the first, uh, we try this uh, uh, uni uh, colored uh, erasable uh, leads. I have blue one and we'll show you how it works. It, it is really very nice, very smooth working tool and it's not that uh, <coughs> it's not that uh, boring as uh, as regular pencil lead <coughs> please forgive me but my throat is is really in bad condition uh, the feeling is like you use uh, just the color pencil <laughs> very very nice thing so i'm very happy about this uh, this uh, new idea product and we will see <coughs> maybe i will start sketching more because so far i was usually sketching with fine liners but as you know if you do something uh, not properly then you can't uh, erase it but these two copic fine liners this is the 01 and 03. I received them as a gift and very happy about them because uh, they, I mean, they are like the other fine liners, but when I uh, draw with them, when I write with them, I feel the difference that they are more smooth. I don't know, it's, it's maybe this is the, the kind of ink inside, but it's really, really very nice. I have those in different colors and like them as well, but uh, these ones are really, really nice. I'm not going to show you how the Blackwing uh, <laughs> performs because uh, this is not uh, in camera big difference I didn't sharpen them yet but doesn't matter <coughs> you will see them for sure in the future this is micron pm this is the uh, with uh, the point which is uh, from plastic and I like this point because it is more sturdy than, than regular points, micron points, but at the same time uh, you can have different gradation of your lines. You can have, if you use it like, uh, like that, then you can have different effects than when you use it like that. And this is very nice when you <coughs> draw the uh, art line just uh, just the art line and you are not going to to color this more this as I said was just impulse <laughs> buying because of the color very very nice peachy color I don't know yet what for I will use it <coughs> we will see but when we talking about peachy colors uh, last time I started uh, using Posca uh, markers I love them and uh, the problem is that they don't have nice uh, skin white uh, for, for white skins uh, skin tone color and I found this Liquitex acrylic marker and uh, bought it <clears throat> and I have to tell you that it's really very very nice color it's ideal color for for skin tones 
And what is more, this chisel tip is quite interesting and nice because you can have some smaller lines, some fatter lines, whatever. This is so variety of lines you can achieve. So maybe, maybe I will even buy with time some some more of Liquitex marker. We'll see. And uh, when we talk about markers, let's talk about Copics. As I told you before, I've bought uh, <coughs> uh, some Copics to try, alcohol markers, to try it again. And I've bought it uh, second hand. And this is the, the great idea. If you want to try some art supplies, but you don't know will you like it or not, then don't hesitate to buy this from the second hand, especially if you buy just a few items, because then you can try this and you, you don't spend that much money as you would normally spend. And then you will see you like it or not. Oh, I have to put some card here because, you know, <laughs> it bleeds through. I did some first few drawings with them, very simple ones, and I have to tell you that I quite like them. And why I've bought uh, uh, different ones uh, when talking about shape, I decided that if I like them, then of course my collection will grow. So I want to know from the very beginning, because these are quite pricey, which one shape I like the best because the the, <coughs> the colors are the same here. This line is much wider. There, there are some extra colors, but most of colors uh, are uh, in a Copic uh, ver version. <coughs> Sorry. And I have to tell you, oh, what is interesting effect when you put this on acrylics. You see? <laughs> And I decided that this effect, uh, this uh, shape, this uh, this shape of uh, Copic sketch is not uh, is not uh, that comfortable as the Copic Chow is. So decision is if I like really these mar markers, I will build my collection with uh, Copic. Copic Chao, and if there will be some colors I don't have in Copic Chao, then I buy these ones. We'll see. And at the end, we have the color pencils. Color pencils, uh, let's start from Pro Color. I just uh, started to, to work more with color pencils. Uh, I'm learning from the very beginning and I've bought some uh, colors. <coughs> I love the uh, rather, this is by the way not the best paper for this kind of swatches because it's very smooth. This is for a paper for calligraphy. But let's challenge this uh, I love color pencils, which are sturdy and hard. Uh, my favorite are polychromos. And I've heard a lot about the Pro Color. And I decide, okay, let's give them a try. And we'll see, maybe that will be my another one set of colors. And I have to tell you that my first impression wasn't very good because I tried them on the bed paper. But after that, when I started to work with them some more, I, um, I decided that I'm going to, to try them more course with time because not everything at once 
but really very very nice i'm trying to to uh, i'm doing this in different uh, <coughs> directions to show you uh, how saturated the color might be so this is uh, this is really really very very good and you see the uh, the lead is still sharp and this is uh, great you don't have to sharpen them often and you don't uh, it, it will last you for longer so this is very very economic solution <coughs> another I wanted to show you our Holbein Holbein is uh, very pricey in Poland and is available just in one or two shops and uh, as a piece is, uh, you can buy just six colors I bought four but when I started trying them I feel that they are very similar like polychromos this is a very very nice uh, creamy feeling but not too creamy not like Prismacolor by the way I'm not big fan of Prismacolor but these ones are fantastic <clears throat> and as well their leads are quite hard so they don't crack you can sharpen them very well and you know this uh, four colors is uh, not enough to to say uh, is it really good uh, good pencils for different purposes because then you, you need some more colors to make some some <coughs> mixing and layers but the the very first impression when you put the the color on the uh, paper is absolutely great and this very weird <laughs> finding just one Dervent artist from the previous collection and I said I wish to have this one of these uh, old sets because the quality of the lead is I, I have uh, I of course tried uh, Dervent artists so far these regular ones but I have impression like uh, this uh, previous line was I would say different pencils this is really so nice this is a bit comparable to Prismacolor but still it keeps its uh, point Unfortunately, these uh, Dervent artists, uh, which you can buy now, are not as good as this one. But I don't know, maybe just one color what was that good. This is some interesting uh, finding last time. This is metallic carandage. I've bought just one to try. And I have to tell you that, well, maybe this uh, you know generally metallics in uh, color pencils are usually not very very good but this one seems to be quite quite okay but anyway I like uh, <coughs> this uh, shade of color because it's very interesting so so that might be and it's very nice when uh, when you use it <clears throat> and at the end I wanted to show you this is the the Carandash blender in pencil <coughs> sorry <coughs> and uh, 
And these two pencils, this is uh, 0, 094 and 583. This is uh, <coughs> from Carandash uh, portrait set. And these are so nice natural colors. This is really great. If you were looking for some nice colors for uh, mouth, for lips, then these are those. One is more pinky, one is more peachy. And they are so rich in pigment. It's really absolutely fantastic thing. These luminance pencils. <coughs> and we also have the blender. Blender which helps us to blend. I don't have I don't need to blend these two because they are almost the same, but just to show you that that it work. It may also work, of course, with different uh, color pencils, right? Even with Holbein. I don't have a big experience with uh, blending so far. As I said, I started learning uh, color pencils, but, but we will see. And the last one uh, thing is uh, copper color from Van Gogh. I didn't use Van Gogh when I started watercolors. I, I never used Van Gogh, I don't know why it happened. And now is, is big coming back to student grade watercolors. And I decided to try Van Gogh. You know, as watercolor We will see how it works when we do it on the watercolor paper, because here it's <coughs> really hard to say. But these metallic colors, uh, even if uh, these are watercolors, you can use like gouache if you put some uh, richer layer like here. It really looks well. This is really great. So. If you like this kind of colors, you can try them from Van Gogh. Um, they have some more colors. I have also bought some, some dusty colors, but this is another story. We will talk about this in the next time. Okay, so here are the different uh, new ideas for art supply. Uh, I hope that uh, that was inspiring. Maybe you found something here, what you would like to try. Then <coughs> you don't have to spend a lot of, uh, lot of money. You can just uh, uh, buy one or two items first uh, to try them and later on decide, do you want to, to, to have something more? Oh, I didn't do the the white test, it's uh, quite good. Second layer and third layer. So you see it's, uh, it's quite good. And on the beginning uh, I do this kind of small sketches, it's almost like thumbnail sketches with the <coughs> color pencils so you may uh, follow my journey with that medium 
Okay, thank you very much. Have a nice time. <laughs> bye bye.